Hey, let's go over how to draw Ceratosaurus. Uh, it's gonna be simple, easy for beginners. He was in the Jurassic Park series. I think he might have been Jurassic World as well, but I know he's in Jurassic Park, so let's get started just on his face. Very unique face, all right? Turn the paper this way, and uh, let's go over here. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna curve the front side of the face. I'm gonna pull back just a bit. I'm gonna continue kind of straight across, but not as thick a line. Over here, he's going to bump over his brow. So remember that, it's very distinct, because he more or less has a very similar face to the T-Rex, because they're both theropods, uh, but they are a little bit different in that way, in a couple of different key ways. Going to go over here, pull down, curve right here, kind of for that cheekbone area. Or I think they call the cheekbone the jugo bone, I believe. In people, it's called the zygomatic arch. I think in lizards, it's called the jugo bone, I'm not sure. I think that's what's called line over here in here curve for his eye line in here the eye over here in this area curve up curve line down right here for this huge kind of rhinoceros well not that big but he's got a pretty big horn on top of uh, the front there uh, really cool design I love his look uh, definitely one of the cooler theropods in my opinion one of my favorite theropods gonna go over here curve down line over here down over here so we got that open mouth curve underneath up curve back right here underneath right there that jaw really pronounced jaw very big deal go over here now underneath the neck that's something that I think almost everybody forgets when they draw dinosaurs is underneath the neck by the way don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like dinosaur drawing lessons uh, hit that thumbs up it's a really big deal uh, making a lot more of them and I want to really push into them but just definitely hit that thumbs up it helps out the channel helps out kind of what uh, it lets me know what to do more of um, I'm gonna go over here curve around the back area usually like their ears hidden in that area Let's give him an eye, like right here. He's like pretty happy, I think, for the most part, even though he's like uh, probably, a, you know, he's a predator for sure. Going back over here, kind of back of the neck, pulling down. Line over here. We don't make the neck too skinny, right? I'll give him like, you know, more or less kind of a thick, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to skinny a little bit, thicken out. Go over here to the side of the throat. All right. So now we're gonna more or less go into the details of this guy. Uh, details are really important because they kind of bring out a lot of the cool things of the character. Um, and they tend to be thinner, you, we tend to use thinner lines, right? We're using this marker and I know you're using this with me, thank you. Um, but let's go into the details. First off, right off the bat, the teeth. They're gonna curve back, right? They're curving in because they're pulling prey into their mouth, not to get too, you know, out there, no, uh, you know, but they're curving inward, and you can kind of change the size of them, right? Because that'd be a good idea that these animals were very different. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like they'll have unevenness, and you know, like sometimes they're breaking teeth and they grow at different rates and stuff like that, especially something like a predator where they're constantly doing that. Let's go over here to the bottom. See, it's already kind of bringing a different look to him. Now he doesn't look as happy, you know. Go over here to the back of the mouth. Maybe put a little bit of the back teeth and then curve. Sorry, curve line down. And we're gonna fill this dark. The reason we wanna do that is we really wanna have this um, kind of dimensional thing, like he's slightly turned toward us. And it makes it look a lot more 3D. Curve up. Line over here. Fill this in. Over here, gonna go over here, curve like an apostrophe, fill that in, line right here, that's a thin, that's like these thin lines right here are just to show changes in form, in line, in direction, and that is very, very detail-esque, right, line up right here, a little thin line, and those more or less are kind of more or less style points, you know, those are thin lines to add scratch marks. 
and they're really going to be up to you right here as well. Line over here, bag under the eye. Uh, maybe even like a little bit right here of like a little bit of a darkness where the there's a thickness from that brow. Maybe you can put the brow on the other side. And uh, Ceratosaurus, they tend to draw him with some spikes running down the back. They're really trying to differentiate uh, him from T-Rex a lot. Um, I mean, and he is very different in the body, but we're in, in the sense that, you know, scale and era, line, 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 these thin lines right here, because you want uh, to have more detail, which, to be honest, with giant lizards, uh, you know, giant reptiles, you are... Really, a lot of that stuff is going to be in the texture of the skin and the details and so on. Line, line, line. Line here. Putting the dark right there, the reason we want to do that is we want to anchor out the drawing a little bit as well. Um, you know, maybe, you, like I said, dark here. Usually around the dark, uh, focus points, right? The mouth, under the neck, maybe the eye right there. Obviously, the nose has that. You can go a little bit back here as well, kind of behind the ear area. Um, make thin lines here. You can always throw a little bit of stuff right here for for scales, you know, like scales on the skin. I don't mean scale as in, like, proportion. I mean scales in this area. Don't forget, by the way, as far as drawing lessons go, we, we put up... I put up a new drawing lesson every single morning, and it's going to be traditional, right? Like marker, pen... Uh, and also what I'm doing is I'm putting every single night, this is an addition, is Procreate drawing lessons. All of this stuff is totally free. Uh, please hit the subscribe right now. Click the bell notification so it actually lets you know. Uh, it's going to really help out the channel here. And, and uh, yeah, it's just good for everyone. You'll learn how to draw. And in uh, exchange, you know, you, uh, you know, possibly hit that like button if you do. Uh, and follow as well. Line, line. And we're throwing these lines, but you have to be careful. Some people like putting them all over, and if you put them... I mean, you can put them all over, don't get me wrong, if they're light enough. But you don't want it to overwhelm the drawing, and because uh, sometimes it can break the drawing if you put them too much. But since we're doing them real small, you can kind of put them quite a bit before it even gets close to breaking the drawing. Uh, let me know if there's other dinosaurs you want to see. This was like a focus shot of the Ceratosaurus's head. Uh, if you have any other uh, dinosaurs you want to see drawn uh, in a lesson. I love, 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 love dinosaur drawing lessons, doing them. So please hit me up uh, in the comment section. Even uh, if you have nothing to say, say hi to me if you can hear my voice right now. Say hi in the comments right now. Type it in, hello, and try me out, and I will say hi back. I guarantee it. And if I don't, uh, well, I will. So thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Uh, keep drawing. You're amazing. Don't forget we have cool coloring books and we have a lot of free stuff in the description. So go check that out. Talk to you next time.